crazy ex-girlfriend, anybody who you know who enjoys combat sports, especially boxing, tell them about this podcast because I'm sure they'd love it. We're going to keep it short and sweet today here to talk about the fantastic KO of Sebastian Fondora by Brian Mendoza, a man who was not supposed to win this fight by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, This is a fantastic underdog win. Sebastian Fondora is six and a half feet tall at that small weight class. He oh, The towering inferno, he always towers over his opponents. But for some reason, and we just talked about this on the last episode, likes to fight on the inside. Doesn't like to use all the reach that he has, all the reach in the world. And his frame is meant to move around and stick the jab out and not let fight and catch them when they're coming in and not let fighters fight on the inside but his entire career has been spent where he god bless him he's been getting away with it because even though he is a tall guy he can fight on the inside he's a good fighter very good fighter um but you're just your body is not meant to fight that way and that's why me any other boxing analysts pundits fighters anything so on and so forth everybody always talked about how one day this should catch up with him If you know anything about boxing, you just are not supposed to fight like that if you were born with that sort of frame. Uh, But here he was again, accommodated the inside fighting. Uh, I think Brian Mendoza and his coaches must have known all his fights are like this. He won't make it hard for you. Um, So let's get our way on the inside. He's going to let you. And then let's stay composed and let's catch him. And Sebastian Fondora... um, Two out of three judges, well, all three judges had him up in this fight. And out of two out of three judges uh, had this five rounds to one for Sebastian Fondora heading into the seventh round. When Brian Mendoza never deterred from the game plan, he let Sebastian Fondora win these rounds by being the busier, more active fighter. Um, And he looked for that good shot the whole time. Anytime that he was on the inside with them, looking for that good shot, and he found it. It was a right, nice right hand, like a like a slash right hook slash uppercut, like like kind of a, a shovel punch um, that caught him, wobbled the hell out of him, and he thought maybe he was going to have a walk off KO there. Notice uh, this son of a bitch is not trying to go down, even though he's out of the fight already, and got polished off with two other clean shots while he was already kind of done fell blast into the floor brian mendoza you guys have to understand only last year was way deep on boxing undercards fighting in swing bouts just absolutely phenomenal he earned his way here his fight before this with a great underdog win um but most places uh, had sebastian fondor bare minimum a minus 1200 favorite to win this fight and some places even up to a minus 1300 favorite to win this fight and brian mendoza did it you guys he finally made him pay for it and maybe sebastian fondora's career needed this at some point because all of our words about telling him hey you're tall you're huge you're not supposed to let people come inside and accommodate inside fighting with them was all just noise to him probably before this because of the fact that he's like, what do you guys know? I'm winning all of my fights. Uh, I can fight on the inside, and he can, and he's a great fighter. But he shouldn't always accommodate that and, and, and let it last for as long as it does because it's a disadvantageous position for him to be in. He doesn't need to make the fights that hard on himself. And Brian Mendoza, he just, he did it, you guys. And, and he sat in the post-fight interview, and when asked what he'd tell his younger self, he cried, he teared up over this, which absolutely touched me. Loved the guy, made me a fan of his for, for fights to come. 
and hopefully for you too. And boxing needs this stuff, you guys. We need these underdog stories, these huge wins out of nowhere because sports like MMA uh, are, are not the only, it's not the only place where anything can happen. And that's kind of something that has gotten in people's heads. You watch UFC and this is the sport where anything can happen. Well, boxing was always the original sport where anything can happen, where anybody's got a puncher's chance. It has always been that sport uh, for so long, so long. Decades upon decades upon decades upon decades. And this is what boxing has always been. And here it is again, reminding us the original sport where anything can happen. And it did this last Saturday with Brian Mendoza's victory. Absolutely fantastic. We kept this one short and sweet, but I hope you guys can appreciate this kind of moment in boxing because it is big. And this was a life-changing moment. Make no mistake about it. A life-changing moment for Brian Mendoza.